so obsessed with Halloween? Come on, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Halloween is cool. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's randomly amazing video, it is really, really random because this video was not supposed to be a get ready with me. It was supposed to be a vlog originally, but something really random and I don't want to say tragic, but tragic's not the word I want to use, but something very out of the ordinary happened. Um while i was on my way to my appointment now i think it was probably two nights or one night before this video was filmed i had scheduled a clinical doctor appointment on campus because i was experiencing my knee locking anytime i would bend it for a long period of time sitting or going up and down the stairs because literally my school was full of stairs and the elevators barely work but besides the point i had booked this appointment to go to and it was just crazy it was just crazy but here's the little get ready with me i'll let you guys watch this and i'll come back <laughs>
I have a doctor's appointment and I'm late. That's not good. I'm late. It was supposed to be at 10 20. Right now it's 10 25. I'm late. Okay, so, like, I'm back. I don't want to make this story time seem, like, really dramatic. Oh, look at me, look at me. This is just a very crazy situation that happened to me and never happened to me before till this day. And, like, it was just a memory, and I want to upload this memory that happened in my life so older me could look back and be like, okay, let me never, ever, ever put myself in a situation like this ever again with my self because that was scary so as i got closer to the campus clinic i started feeling a little bit dizzy and nauseous and lightheaded as i'm waiting for the last crosswalk to cross onto campus as i got closer to the campus clinic my vision got a little bit dark and blurry and it looked like a, it literally looked like one of those movie scenes where a character is about to pass out but thankfully, I did not pass out at all. But anyways, in this moment, I finally reached inside the building. I was talking to the guy at the front desk to get checked in for the meeting. He said, I missed it. I'm going to need a reschedule. And I'm sitting here trying to reschedule the appointment with him for later on that day. But next thing you know, I told him, can I get some water? Like, I, th I think I'm going to vomit. And he got me a cup of water and also a vomit bag just in case as we're still in this moment trying to schedule an appointment. It's like I do not look well and I do not feel well. Why am I trying to reschedule an appointment for literally three hours later after this situation? But anyways, but still literally as we're in the middle of trying to find another time to reschedule, I told him I think I'm going to pass out. He hurried up and grabbed a nurse to come to the front office. She came in with a wheelchair. Y'all, I started vomiting in that moment. I don't remember even getting into the wheelchair, but I know it was hard for me to probably get into a wheelchair. Because I know myself, like, after, like, throwing up, I will, I literally do not feel like moving because my body feels stiff and it feels weak and I I literally feel like I should just collapse after throwing up. But anyways, that's probably a little bit TMI, but anyways. <laughs> um she rolled me to the back to be with other nurses as well. They checked um my temperature, they checked my blood sugar and they also checked my uh pulse and everything because they said that i had a faded coloration in my face they said i look really pale in the lips so you know what they did jada do you feel good i was like no i i feel really dizzy still in that moment i felt really dizzy next thing you know they're like do you need the paramedics? Do you, do you need us to call the paramedics? Y'all, they called the paramedics either way to get me because I did not look good and I did not feel good at all and I did not know why. Like, I literally was living my best life, getting ready, as y'all saw a few minutes ago. Next thing you know, I'm in the paramedics. Paramedics is asking me all these different questions. If I feel okay, looking at my ID to find my name because I literally, I literally do not feel good in this moment. And I'm trying to fully respond to them. They're responding back to me. They're like, okay, you, you're able to fully respond. We're going to take you to the ER. They took me to the ER, y'all. They took me to the ER. They lied me up into the ER. But anyways, um, we're driving up in the ambulance. I felt so embarrassed. Like, so many people were watching and trying to look inside the ambulance. It's like, 
why are y'all trying to look inside the ambulance for what reason like y'all have no reason to be trying to look up into an ambulance like you have no idea what's happening to a person who's in the car or in the truck what the heck but anyways um i get to the er they go ahead check me up check me in y'all i never ever 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 want to be in a situation like this because they had to stick a big old needle in my arm to make sure i get some iv fluids oh my goodness <laughs> yo worst experience is having that needle in my arm and the guy is like oh you don't have to look sweetie you don't have to look like you could look the other way i'm like i'm gonna say it the other way then the doctor comes in talking about some looking the other way is a good choice and i'm like like no way <laughs> looking the other way is good if i look at the needle that they're shoving in my arm i'm pretty sure i would have passed out again and this was from 10 40 in the morning till i want to say probably like three three o'clock I was kept under observation just to make sure I was okay because what the nurses were telling to them, what the paramedics was telling them about how the situation all happened and what I was also explaining into it, they just kept me under observation. You want to know why? Because I did not eat in the morning. All because I did not eat. I had water before I left, but... I also grabbed a granola bar, and you know what I did before leaving to my clinic appointment? Threw it on my bed because I was going to come back. I did not come back till hours later. <sighs> but, like, um, I came back hours later, and you know what I had? I had a big lunch and almost close to a big dinner as well because I never want to put myself in that situation again. And I think that happened on like the 1st, no, the 2nd of October to because that was the first week of October. I literally remember it like it like it was yesterday and it was literally just a few weeks because currently right now it's the 20th and it's the middle of the month. Like, of course, I'm going to remember that that memory is a core memory now. For me to always make sure I'm eating before I leave to go places. Because I never want to have that situation ever happen again. And this is a... Something that everyone should remember. Always eat before you leave the house. Always drink water before you leave the house. Or take water with you. Or a little snack. Because I do not want to hear anybody that I love having to go through this situation that I went through. It's like something so small of a situation happening could also end up into a situation that is huge. But anyways, that's the end of today's story time. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in another randomly amazing video. And make sure you guys stay healthy because being healthy is the best thing ever. And remember to always pray. Because the Lord will be with you. The Lord was for sure with me that whole entire time. Because I I don't know what I would have done without the Lord ever being with me in that situation happening. Because he is who I'm going to meet after my last day comes. But till then, I will see you guys in another Ramly Amazing video. Love y'all. Peace out.